same passing sequence. Okay, I get here, I start circling this way, and if I'm able to wrap his head well, okay, then we have the option of blocking up a cradle. Okay. Oh my. So this here, and his head within reach. I'm gonna go S grip. Okay. So he's give me the longest grip I can grab. All right. And usually get to cover a lot of distance. So go S grip. And then with a cradle, my goal is to fold him in half. Okay. And that means I'm gonna bring my elbows in. Okay. So I'll get here. Crunch. Okay. Now, with the cradle like this, I like get a good lock. I can get again to the back. This can also set up guillotines. Right? But let's say we want to get a good, really good position. What we're going to do is we're going to step over his leg here. Okay. He's okay. okay. Now he's in a really, really bad, bad spot. You're actually quite flexible. For me, it doesn't help, right? Okay. This is a good leg stretch, a hip stretch. Now, what I'm going to do, once I got that leg cable, I'm going to come over to the other side, and then I'm going to reverse my cradle. So then go here, here. This puts me in a better position. Okay, because look, he's facing that way, I'm behind him. And uh, again, if I wanted to let go of this side here, I could. Or, if we go for other mobile, I step up and I sit him up. Oh, back thing. We get the back. Ooh. Okay. The great about this is that you're in control of him the whole time. You didn't really have to release any pressure to advance. So again, I came here, scroll, I start working up. His head's in reach. Boom. Ball him up. Okay, step over his leg here. Ball. Step behind, his foot over his hip. I start circling towards his back, and you can see right now I got my foot behind his leg, my knee is over it. Release, I still got pressure with my elbow. Come here. Now we reverse the cradle. From this point, step up behind his head, and I'm going to sit him to his butt. Right here. Your grip is going to look like this. Get the back, I need to shift by allowing my right shoulder to go over his shoulder. You see how I do that little switch from being sideways with him, now I'm square on his back. At this point, you have an easy back kick. I just step over this leg. Fall to the side. Boom. And now from here, I can figure four, lock up that one hip. And what I'll do is I'll pull his leg in really tight. He's gonna do the opposite. Yeah, he doesn't like the squeeze, pushes out, gives me the hook. And if his neck's up, he's gonna try to choke it. Any questions? One more time? Yep. Uh, same setup, scroll pass. I start circling. I notice he's balled up a little bit, making it easy. If he was stretched out, like he's very scared of guillotines, it's not going to be there for me. But by being that stretched out, he also gives me more space to pass, right? To get in here. All right. But if he's getting tight, lock up the cradle, step over the leg, cradle it, cut the corner right here. This part is your only release of control. Quick. Here, here. Once they get here, sit them up, adjust my grip. The pressure. Cool. Do that thing. Ready? One, two, three. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. That way you'll be alerted when the next video drops. Now, if you want to get more videos like this on a daily basis, go and visit my membership site at ffbaycoach.com. We have online video curriculums, our daily videos, and you can get bonus courses like the Kimura Trap System for free when you enroll today.
So go ahead and help support the channel and visit today.